You're still their brother Crosshair. You're my brother too. Omega. To Crosshair the Bad Batch made their way back inside and ran down the halls of Tipoka City as the city was being bombarded. However, a nearby explosion caused the main facility to start to sink below the waves, forcing the group to slide downward. Omega, RZ3, and Crosshair became separated from the group as a nearby door malfunctioned and closed and trapped them in a room. Omega fell unconscious but was reawakened by RZ-3. The droid told Omega that they needed to leave as the room began to flood. She spotted Crosshair trapped underneath the wreckage and tried to get him out with little success. She then contacted the Batch and told them about her predicament, causing them to try and get the door open. Meanwhile, with the room still flooding, Omega ordered RZ-3 to use his boosters to lift the wreckage while she used her bow to break it apart. The two managed to get Crosshair free and, with help from Wrecker, were able to escape the flooding room. A now awakened Crosshair asked Hunter what he did, and Hunter informed him about the Empire opening fire on T-Poker City. He went on to state that if he wanted to stay and die, that was up to him, before leading the squad out of the room. Crosshair reluctantly decided to follow them. The group ran down a hallway and Omega observed the many empty cloning pods being consumed by the ocean, becoming grief-stricken. Rekka told Omega that they needed to keep moving. However, the main facility started to tilt as it sunk further beneath the water, causing the group to start to fall. Hunter ordered the group to grab onto something, holding onto pieces of the destroyed hallway. RZ-3, who got hit by debris and shut off, fell down but was caught by Omega. The main facility finally reached the bottom of the ocean and Tech led them to a safe location. The group followed Tech except for Crosshair, who was still hesitant on joining them. Omega stopped and sadly looked at Crosshair before going after the others. Crosshair, although conflicted, followed the group as they made for a more secure location. Tech led the team to their old barracks, stating that this was one of the most secure places for now. Rekka is shocked about the emptiness of the room but is glad that their scoreboard is still up. Crosshair questioned the point of all their missions together due to Hunter abandoning the Empire. Hunter and Crosshair got into a debate with Hunter stating that blindly following orders made someone a pawn and that a real leader looked after their squad. Crosshair countered by stating that his squad was going to die due to his poor leadership. Omega interjected, saying that they weren't going to die and could escape using the tube system. Having no other ideas, the group agreed to her plan. The group walked through the tube system but noticed it being vulnerable and fragile. Crosshair suggested to go back but RZ3 told him that this was the only way out. Rekka became annoyed with Crosshair and stated that he never went looking for them and that they would have welcomed him back to the squad. Tech replied that it was Crosshair's nature to be strict and harsh and that no one could change that. The group continued on and came face to face with a sea monster. RZ-3 went to turn on the power to scare the creature off and managed to overload the electricity. The group eventually made it to Nala Shea's lab, but discovered that the tube system was broken, preventing them from escaping. Crosshair angrily responded that this was what happened when you let a kid take charge, wounding Omega and angering her squadmates. Hunter replied that she saved his life, unlike the Empire that had almost killed him. Crosshair told Hunter that he made the wrong choice and that he wanted to be a part of something bigger. He went off to sit alone and Omega followed him. She told him that she was alone on Camino before the batch came along and knew she had to be with them. Crosshair coldly told her that she'll never be one of them and Omega responded that she thought the inhibitor chip made him a bad person but that she was wrong. The group decided to use the pods in the laboratory to get to the surface despite not being able to control their ascent once they got in the water. Crosshair suggested using RZ-3 to guide them and the droid agreed to his plan despite his power running low. The group planted bombs along the glass wall and got inside the tubes. Then, Omega pushed the button to detonate the explosives. The group rushed out and RZ-3 guided them toward the surface. However, Omega got caught by some debris and sunk downward, causing RZ-3 to break it apart to rescue her. He managed to do so and pushed her pod upward but ran out of energy and shut off, sinking down. Omega, heartbroken, recklessly went after RZ-3 and almost ended up almost drowning. Fortunately, Crosshair, using his sniper, managed to save both of them by firing a grappling hook and pulling them up. The group made it back to the Marauder and gazed out at the remains of Tipoka City. 
The group then told Crosshair that he could choose to come with them, but he declined, stating that this changed nothing. The group went back to the ship to take off but Omega stopped and turned back to Crosshair. She thanked him for saving RZ3's life, to which Crosshair stated that they were now even. Omega then told him that he was still their brother, as well as hers, despite everything. She then departed with the batch and they flew away from Kamino, leaving Crosshair behind for the second time.